to the kingdom. He said, baptize me one more time. I'm going to change my allegiance from the temple to the king of the temple. I'm going to move from religion to a relationship with the king. I'm going to remove from rituals to royalty. He changed instantly. My friends, if you're going to live in the kingdom, you got to give up your religion. If you're going to live in the kingdom, you got to give up your religion. That's why it's a struggle to hear this message. I deal with it too myself. I mean the things that I had to give up, that I loved doing in religion. But it was not kingdom. It's tough. The principle of baptism, very quick. The biblical mode of baptism is very interesting, you know. Acts 38, verse 38. And he gave orders to stop the chariot. Then both Philip and the eunuch went where? Down. Where? Into what? The water. And Philip baptized him. When they came, what? Up out of the water. The Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away. And the eunuch did not see him anymore. It's important to remember this. That baptism was by submersion. Now I know a lot of you come from backgrounds where you were sprinkled, where you were dunked, where you were stoked, whatever. But according to this, this particular experience here, recorded by Luke. Now Luke is a doctor, he likes details. Luke said the way he was baptized, well he went down into the water, came back up out of the water. Now there's no guessing about what happened here. And we're not discussing and arguing about baptism. I just think it's important for you to read the Bible and say, okay, that's what it is. You know, don't fight fuss about it and try to defend something that ain't defensible. Can I hear an amen? Once again, we have our traditions become more important than the Word of God. Baptism meant newness of life. It actually meant resurrection from death. You change your life completely. You woke up, you, you raise up a, a different person. Philip went preaching all the way to Caesarea. Let him stop. I hope you learned something tonight. My heart is full. Here's a lesson for tonight. The kingdom of God is more important than your religion. And for you to enter the kingdom, you have to give up your religion. Because the kingdom of God is not a religion. Close your Bible. Hallelujah. Listen. Jesus said there was a man who was digging in the field. And he found a treasure. He found it, he looked this way and that way, and he buried it up. And he went away and he sold everything he had. He gave everything he had. He sold everything he had. Everybody sold everything. He sold everything he had and came back and buy that one piece of property. Why? Because of the treasure. He says, so is the kingdom of God. He sold what? Everything. He sold what? Everything. That includes your rituals. He saw everything. The kingdom of God replaces everything.